This is a quick little video to show you how I'm going to build the box that contains the fan and the power supply and the Arduino Uno. Uh, what I've done is it's going to be printed out on a piece of very thin, like 1 8 inch, uh, what I call uh, finished uh, plywood. Plywood something like this. You can see I printed out. This was just something I did really rough as a make a reflector for my little home studio. Reduce the hard lighting, but you can print um, PowerPoint one-to-one -one drawings and paste it on car on plywood like that, and it makes a nice front panel if you don't have plastic or metal or anything like that. As you can see, you can get professional stenciling, and I have a, a power supply that I made, so I'm just using the same concept. And basically, what you do is when you make the box, you put a, a small notch around all these pieces of the wood here as it fits together, about halfway deep and about one inch in thick one inch, inch, inch thick the notch so it would hold the plate in place and uh, get this back in here all right. and that holds the plate in place and then all the stenciling is just on print and then what I do is I, I put very very thin coats of um, polyurethane sealant over it and there's a whole technique to this just don't you just gonna paste it down you have to apply a very very light coat of uh, wood glue to the to the to the plywood and then paste the wood down and smooth it out and you only have a few seconds and you have to put a lot of weight on it to keep it from bubbling if you don't it's going to bubble and look like crap so there's a trick where you have to get a wood glue and then with, with razor blades I, pee, I squeegee off all the excess there's very little glue left and you have to do it quick because it starts to dry then you lay the paper down and hopefully you get it square enough if you do it big enough board you can always square it up on a table saw and then you have to put books and stuff on it and all, you know, another piece of plywood over it to flatten it down and let it dry for a few hours. And you'll get a perfectly uh, nice panel. It's low cost, easy to do. You don't need a big you know, printing company or etching to put this in metal, which would be nice if I was delivering it to a customer. But for home use, it works out pretty well. So anyway, you're going to see I'm going to have the controls, a speaker eventually, with an alarm silence and a big red light. So if something goes wrong, I can send an alarm. And since the power supplies have a standby mode and a power switch, I can just put that in there too. And when you print it out, I gave I'm going to, I have a one inch reference when I print it out. Now you can ask me for this. I'm not saying you can build it, but if you want this, you email me. I will send you this PowerPoint drawing. Um, this is just to give you an idea of how we can, um, you know, make front panels. All right. So this is the front panel. Again, it's drawn one to one. You may see some edges are cut off. It doesn't matter. I'm lucky when I draw on PowerPoint one to one and I print on my particular printer, it comes out exactly one to one. So I don't have to do any scaling of my printouts. And I drew things a little bit bigger just so the edges came off. But these these lines here are where I'm going to cut the plywood when I'm done. You don't see them all here, but I know to, to cut this same difference around the edge. And that's going to fit into the slot. So if you do the slot right, when the wood, so you slot like that, I should have showed you that. This is a little wider than normal. But when, you, when, you, when it goes into the slot, this is the edge of the board where you cut it. This, this black line should just show on the front surface of your wood. Of course, the notch would be closer to the front, not this far back. But uh, um, So you can see it's nice because I can make uh, nice drawings and printouts and show you what the knob settings are and the switch settings. And of course, I always put my little logo up there. I built a couple of these. And the third slide is to basically temp out template for the back. I have these little metal screens. I bought a couple of them. The company uh, supply store that I used to get into a surplus went out of business. So what you can do is you can just get some screen from, you know, like garden or a window screen and put it on the back of this and screw it in place with some washers and that would make a nice uh, vent hole. And this is just an outline of the power supply. You can see I have a little bit of offset here. This is in case if my notches aren't the right size. When I cut this out, um, it basically offsets and makes the hole a little smaller so I can trim this and get a perfect fit because this should be flush just sticking out the back end of the um, power supply. Again, I'm, I don't have drawings on that, but maybe I can give you some drawings. So that's a quick little video on um, how I'm going to do the uh, box to put all the fan and the, the power supply and everything else in there. And maybe I should make another video later today that shows you how to do do all that. Thank you.